Is she pretending? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fancy. I like it. So this is the elevator. And that's the one that doesn't work. Okay, so this is how this goes. How far the door opens. And this is the elevator. There's our thing saying that we're okay. And it's just like a really old timey elevator. It's, I can touch the wall while my back's up against the other side. And go into the basement to do some laundry. And this is what the basement looks like now. That's how that goes. And so this is the pass in here. And this is what the floor looks like now. But it has all these old, like, this is how they used to heat the place and stuff. And I don't know if you can see if there's anything, but they have like the old oil lamp pipes and the gas things sticking out. Yeah, so this is the laundry room. No one's doing laundry, so I'm gonna do some. But this is where the boiler is in there. Like, you can't get in there. Then if you come around here again, like these pipes, like that's where the little gas things were. And now I'm back in the elevator. So that was tonight. This is a bunch of other nights. But yeah. Like some of these. I don't know if A, you're going to be able to hear this. Because I don't know. I don't have my earbuds in. So I don't, this might actually sound better. I don't know. I haven't been really filming any vlog stuff. So this is me trying to do that. Oh shit, look at this. I don't know, I just haven't really been filming anything. So, I figured I need to get back into the swing of stuff. I I was in the deep dark blues, guys. Um, I had a horrific experience and the last couple weeks have just been kind of hard. But if you watched my live stream on Sunday, the, what was that? The 27th of August. Um, I'm kind of done being that guy. I'm done feeling sorry for myself. I'm done being manipulated. I'm, I'm just done with the gaslighting and the whole fucking thing. So I'm feeling a lot better. And I have kind of like a, a new outlook, but kind of like my old outlook, but just a little harder. So we will see how this goes. And now I'm on my way to 7-Eleven to get some smokes and some beers because I have enough wine to last me a few days. 
but it feels like it's going to be a hot one today. So I'm definitely going to need a cold beverage. So I was on my way to 7-Eleven and I heard someone yell my name or no, they said, Hey, and I'm like, just, I kept walking cause motherfuckers say, Hey, all the fucking time out here. And, um, he's like, Hey, and like he came up. And so I turned around and I probably looked like a fucking lunatic. I was all like that and shit. And, um, he's like, Hey, you're on YouTube, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you're Matt. And I'm like, yeah. So, Ty, if you're watching, hey, man, what's going on? Thanks for stopping me. Like, I, I typically don't stop when people fucking yell shit because so many people yell things. So, that was cool. He is an actor. So, if anyone's wanting somebody to audition for something, hook a brother up. It's a warm one today, guys. It was starting to cool off a bit, and I thought we were kind of done with the heat, but... Apparently that's not the case. So I'm going to record a podcast right now and maybe a video and start packaging up my shipments because I am behind on sending your orders out. I apologize. I don't have anywhere to put anything. So how do pins keep disappearing? There's two places they could be on this table or on my desk. Just, they, they keep going, keep vanishing. Hello everyone, um, I don't know if this is going to be part of the vlog or just another video, but I just posted my um, Monday motivation video thing and um, I got this really great comment that was a question that I might actually try to answer on my 100th episode podcast because it's a good one, but I thought I would just touch on it a little bit here since it just came up. I can't remember who asked the question right now because now I'm in the car driving and I can't remember who or um, what the question exactly was, so I'll put it up if I could remember to do so. But the question was like basically do I like kind of linger or harp on my old work like and worry about it and all this other shit and I immediately answered I'm like no like once I write something it's dead to me you know the whole thing and you guys have heard me talk about that before where I'm like um you know, when you write something, it's dead to you, and the next life that comes from that is for the 
the readers. Wow, someone's kicking a soccer ball across the street. But I was thinking about it, and since I'm doing that thing where I'm taking some poems out of a collection, I'm like, does that mean I worry about my old work? And at the end of the day, that's not what that is. I'm taking those out because I don't believe in that stuff anymore, and I don't want to perpetuate shitty fucking thoughts. So that's a bit different than me going like, I don't know if this line's right. Uh, maybe I should change it. Maybe I should work on this. Blah, blah, blah. The whole fucking thing. Um, that just got me thinking, you know, like... What is it exactly that I'm doing and what am I trying to do? Um, what does my work mean to me? Stuff like that. It's just an interesting thing and I'll probably do a video about it or just add it to episode 100. But um, it's a good question and it's something to think about. But my basic answer is once I finish writing something, I'm completely done with it and I step back and it's it doesn't belong to me anymore is how I feel in my head so make of that what you will hey I just shipped all the orders so if you ordered something within the last week it's off to you now and um, this guy was telling me about this bar that's kind of chill and cool over here um, and they serve breakfast, so I think I'm gonna go in there get a Bloody Mary and some like eggs and bacon and shit And just check it out and see how it is. So I'll show you guys No, I'm good. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You take a picture? Yeah. Gotta check it out. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun. So, I went into the bar. I think I have pictures of it in here for you. I walked in, and there's this little, adorable, but little like older Asian lady and she had a mask on which I appreciate I think there's another like big spread going on out here so a lot of people are masking again like everyone in the post office was masked again so I walk in and it's so fucking dark and I heard a voice like hello and I'm like looking around and I can't fucking see where the voice is coming from my eyes haven't adjusted yet and I love dark bars. Like, every bar should be like nearly pitch black. So I liked that. But when I finally figured out where the fuck the voice was coming from, she was going like this. And I didn't know what the fuck she was on about. And then finally she was like, um, no sleeves, no service. And I'm like, what? And she's like, do you have sleeves that you could put on? And I'm like, no. And she's like, I know it's hot outside. And I'm like, yeah, it's awful outside right now. Because it's like 107 today or some shit. So anyway, she's like, yeah, you have to have sleeves on to be in here. I'm like, okay, I'll leave. And she's like, no, no, no. She's like, I'm just gonna like make... And she pointed like to this like corner. And I thought... There was like some weird like closet looking contraption. I think it was an old jukebox that had since gone off the rails or whatever. And I'm like looking at what she's pointing to and I'm like, okay, like what, you have jackets in there that you think are gonna fit me? What the fuck are you doing? And she finally said, she's like, no, just sit here. I'm gonna hide you. Like when you come in here, you gotta wear sleeves. And I'm like, all right, calm the fuck down, you know? She's like, what can I get you? And I'm like, can you make a Bloody Mary? And she's like, yeah. 
So she makes a Bloody Mary, and then I'm like, and you serve breakfast, right? And as soon as I said that, she was like, yes. And then, like, she got me a menu and put, like, a placemat in front of me. And uh, just, like, com her tone and everything completely changed. And so I made, like, I ordered, like, uh, two eggs, bacon, sourdough, hash browns, and whatever. Just, like, a breakfast. And she gave me the Bloody Mary. The Bloody Mary was average. It was in a rocks glass. And I'm not trying to be, like, the etiquette police. But a Bloody Mary should be served in, you know, like a Collins glass. Maybe a tall highball, if that's all you got. But, so I was just, like, a little, like, eh, little miffed, right? But it, it was spicy. It was good. It wasn't too salty, which is what a lot of places do to make up for the fact that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They just salt the shit out of it and it just tastes like a salt lick. But anyway, so all that was good. The food was decent. I'm glad I ate it, but everything was a little undercooked. The eggs were undercooked. The hash browns were undercooked. The bacon was undercooked. The toast, however, was fucking like nuked and hard as shit and not warm when they brought it to me. The more I talk about this, the more I realize that this probably wasn't very good. But it was, like if you're gonna give toast to somebody and then give them a side of butter and the butter's hard as shit and the toast is cold, like why did you even give the butter? Like you might as well just kept that shit. So. All in all, the place was cool. I almost got kicked out for not having sleeves. And then I went to pay for it, and it was like 19 bucks for my breakfast and my drink. I gave her a card, and she's like, oh, we only do credit cards over 20 bucks. And I'm like, well then let me give you a fucking tip. Jesus fucking Christ. It was like, it was like 1984. But she was being cool, and like, after, and I think what it was too is I started like taking pictures and video of the food and everything. And she came up and she's like, oh, you're taking pictures of the food and stuff? Oh, okay, okay. And then I don't know if she thought I was like a critic at that point, but then she came up and started telling me all about the history of the place and asked me where I lived and um, if I had trouble finding parking and all this shit. I was just fucking cracking up. So, um, it, it's a cool place. I just don't know if I want to get dressed up in the summer to fucking go sit there. All right, so I don't have air conditioning. There's no breeze outside. It's over 100 degrees. So, we're back to, like, poor man air conditioner right now, which is basically, which is basically standing in a cold shower with a cold beer and just hope for the fucking best. Like, seriously, the water is like hot now, again, for some reason. I don't get it. Oh, that's better, that's cold as shit. So, yeah. And I just filled the tub. and just stand in the cold water until I'm like shivering. And then I almost dry off, but not really. And then I just go about my day. It is just so fucking hot. And I know it's hotter for other people in other places. But for me right now, it's boiling. And because they're tearing up all the streets in the neighborhood tomorrow for the next two weeks, I had to park in the parking garage, but because everyone else is going to park in the parking garage, I had to park on the fifth floor, elevator still isn't fixed, and then I had to walk up the hill. So, I feel like I got my workout today. My calves and thighs are burning, and 
Now I'm just gonna cool off in here. And as soon as I get cool, then I'm going to record that podcast that we print and record. Yeah, so I wish you all the best and I wish you all central air. It's hot as balls. I opened the window, walked away, and about 40 copies of my newest chapbook that were just like loose pages stacked on top of each other blew off in a wind. A breeze came in, pages all over the place, and I have to put them back together now, and I wanna die. I'm so angry, I'm so mad. And it's 100% my fault for not putting the paperweight back on the stack of paper. It's just, it's been so still outside today. Like there's been like no breeze. And like, I just had like this huge gust and I looked and just like papers in the air. And I was just like, oh dear God. So, I, I just wanna cry right now. That, that was a lot for me. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.